So, the world is finally ready to comprehend the genius that is Gargoyles vs. Cyborgs. In conclusion, congratulations to me on Game of Vision's latest hit. You are welcome. Boy, you're more useless than a hooker at a queer convention. Huh. A dance as old as time itself. You, the wily old king. I, the brave, slender young knight. Anybody know what the half-wit with the horns is yapping about? Uh, sir, Todd wants to make out with you. Dave, you better keep your pie hole shut. This ain't a game we're playing, fellas. Except that it is. But instead of scoring baskets, you gotta make money to win this game. Now you... Exactly, my little friend. Exactly. Before Grandfather died, he say, If you make kimchi look like bibimbap, people will think kimchi is bibimbap. I think I understand. Thanks, Benny. I know just what to do. Oh, yeah. You're gonna like the way you look. Snap into a dress shirt. Come on, lady. How long does it take to put pants on? Lady? Who you calling lady? Say goodbye to Mary and hello to Mitch. What you doing with a lady, Mitch? I am Mary. Oh, you are one handsome dude, lady. I mean, Mitch. Yay! <clears throat> I mean, uh, whatever, yay. Um, hello, beautiful. My name's... Mitch, I, I wonder if you might point me in the direction of Mr. Larity, because, you see, I've never been here before. <laughs> I'd be happy to point the way, Mitch. I'm Claire. Your leather jacket is really cool. Thanks. I may program for a living, but I live to break dance. Wow. Sensitive and dancer. Maybe you could buy me dinner and tell me more. Watch out, man. This prude won't go downtown to the 14th date. Shut up. Claire, I'm a busy man. Busy with man things. So if Mr. Larity's available, I'd really like... Fine. Why aren't you flirting with me? Guys usually flirt with me. Oh, well, because I respect you. You're a lady, Claire. Not a piece of meat. So this game's Space Marines, part of the lame farm. But guess what? I have an awesome new video game that I have invented, and I call it Cobras vs. Chimps. Oh my god, look at that! Good day, gentlemen. My name is Mitch. I'm Mary's brother, and I'm afraid I have some bad news. Mary's dead. Yeah, I think Chimps and Cobras is a guaranteed hit. Did you hear what this guy said, Dave? Mary is gone. Yes, she's gone. She died a hero. Oh my gosh! Is Mary the one with the nice hooters? If by nice you mean minuscule, then yes. What is wrong with you guys? Our talented, smart, beautiful Mary is gone. Shouldn't you separate them? You know what? I'm sure they'll work it out. Well then, Mitch, what can we do you for? Sir, Mary's dying wish was that I come to Game of Vision and continue her life's work. I don't know about that. We do some pretty complicated stuff here at Game of Vision. You know how I got where I am today, Mitch? Instinct. And marrying rich women. What I'm saying is, you hire him. Say, Jerry, help this dad and get comfy in the hand. Wait, that doesn't mean have sex with him, right? Get getting, y'all! Get 
Hey, Mitch, did your sister ever tell you that Jerry wanted to bang? What the hell, man? Hi, Mitch. Just wanted to see if I could get you anything. I'll take a chocolate milkshake extra thick, and you can take a vanilla Dave extra quick. Creep, I deserve to be treated like a lady. Ah, uh, Claire sucks. But sucking is my favorite thing about women. Get it? I said I like it when they suck. Give me a high five on that Whoa. one. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> Look at the gay I... lovers. Uh, <laughs> I better go get some work done. Yeah, I'm going to take a lap and check out the local talent. Hey, do you think there's anything kind of off about that guy? <sighs> He's definitely not like anybody I've ever known. Ahoy, Mitchell, Sire. Prithee, I beg you to join me. I bet you're tired of those heathens, Jerry and Dave, huh? And between us, Jerry's a complete waste of space, and Dave is high on marijuana. He calls it medicine. So what you're saying is, this place is really going to miss Mary. Completely incorrect. Mary was nice enough, but not that talented. Not that talented? <clears throat> you are completely right. <laughs> But you can't blame Mary. After all, she's just a chick. They're only good for two things. Do tell me what these two things are. Cleaning and babies? Ah, too true. Such simple creatures with small brains. I read that their brains are the same size as dogs. Ah, a fellow reader of the Journal of Animal and Women's Sciences. You know, Mitchell, you're the first person around here who really gets me. I suggest we declare ourselves best friends. What say you, good sir? Wonderful. Then it's settled. Let us forge this pact with our new best pal handshake. How's that go? Let me show you. I've created this handshake when I was seven, and I've waited decades to find a friend so I could unveil it. And shake around the corner, take the dog back out, walk it back in, thumb up, pinky down, swear upon the pinky, ring finger back up, and float it down with the butterfly. Bing bong, open the door the church is let out, and slap it around. There. We're best friends. Wow. Yeah, I knew you'd like it. Now it's time for best pals to share their deepest secrets. Let me introduce you to Betsy SK4000, the star of my pet project, Gargoyles vs. Cyborgs. Is she or is she not the hottest creature in this or any other galaxy? Yeah, that's oh. one hot <sighs> robot lady. Wow. <sighs> what are you doing, you disgusting pervert? Uh... That's a compliment, dude. Who doesn't love rubbing their thingy to video games? Then by all means, join me, my newfound friend. It's not gay if we don't make eye contact. Thanks. Yeah, I, I wish I could, but I just ate, and I gotta wait 30 minutes, you know, my trainer says, so I'm gonna let you get back to it, and I'm gonna go. Uh, no, no, wait! Uh, you wanna do the handshake? Yeah, I'm good. Mitch, my boy, you have got a gift. Oh, my God, Dave Jaffe. Hello, Dave Jaffe. Mr. Laherty, I'm really excited to start work for Gamevision. Change of plans, kid. I decided to hire Mitch here instead. He's a man of experience. You're firing me? Before I get a chance to start? Yep, you got it, Jaffe. But I've got this great idea for this game. It, it's called God of War. Dude, Mr. Laherty, dude, dude, this is the best. God of War. Okay, so you play this guy, right? And he kills his family, and then he wears their skin on his body, and, and he kills all these monsters and then he gets to have sex this is the best game you have ever heard of it is going to put game of vision on the map yeah we already got ourselves a war game in construction nice try but sir it's dave jaffe child prodigy and yeah i'm dave jaffe thanks for coming by jaffe claire will validate your parking on your way out but my mom's not picking me up for a half hour like i said mitch you have got a gift like i ain't <laughs> never seen you a drinking man? No, I love wine coolers. I mean, I love giving the babes wine coolers. <laughs> you old dog, you. <laughs> I myself am a whiskey man. One time I was so drunk on whiskey, I ran right over a moose. Now, it was a small moose, mind you, in a yellow T-shirt. Damn thing kept yelling, help me, help me, I'm just a little boy. But I was so drunk, I just left that talking moose laying on the side of the road. Wow, that's just what I would have done. Oh, Mitch, you're just like a young me. Claire, get in here. Hi, Mitch. I need you to take a memo. Attention, Game of Vision employees, stop. We gonna have ourselves a hoedown. Stop. Tonight at the Branded Cap. Stop. In honor of our new shining star, Mitch. Stop. I think that's a wonderful idea. I'd be happy to give you a ride, Mitch. Thank you, Claire. I'd like to give her a ride, if you know what I mean. I mean, I want to have sex with her. Give me a high five on that one. <laughs> oh, I'm drenched in whiskey. Sorry about that. Not a worry. 
I'll get cleaned up in the showers. There are showers here? Yeah, but only for the fellas, so don't let the girlies know. Let's hit it. Take off them skivvies, Jerry. Real men shower together naked. We don't want Mitch thinking we're a bunch of freaks now, do we? Where is Mitch? Mitch, where you at, boy? Hey, dudes. Strip down and get your ass in here. We gotta get pretty for the girlies tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna take a pass. Wait a minute. Group showers are optional? I'm out of here. Keep quiet, fatty. If you don't, I'm gonna stick something in that mouth of yours to shut you up. Yeah, that sounded gay even if I weren't nude. Now, Mitch, <laughs> why can't you join uh, us? Because it reminds me too much of uh, prison. Wait, you were in prison? Yeah, I did a stretch for killing a man. Badass, bro. I was wrongly convicted. See, I was a Navy SEAL. Yeah! Oh, wow. And these punks were harassing my lady. So I told them to back off. Yeah, I said it too, off. buddy. And they pulled out knives. Yes. Yes. So I had to use the palm of my hand to shove their noses into their brains. Yes. 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 I stood up for my lady and it earned me seven long years in Folsom. I'd rather not relive my time in the joint. Fair enough, Mitch. You know what I like about you? You got sack, even if I don't get to see it. <laughs> I want you to be in charge of Dave's space game thingy. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Larity. What the hell's going on here? That's my game. Congratulations, Mitch. Uh, hey, do you want to sit next to me at the party? Yeah, let's play it by ear. Jerry, what the f*** is that? Uh... I think it's because I maybe I have a cold, which is uh, because, you know, it causes stuff to happen down there, which is it's totally normal. Up, and I'd appreciate your help, I Jer Jerry. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with you, dude? Are you telling me you actually like this douchebag? Maybe you're the douchebag, Dave. <laughs> hey, Clarence, when did you realize you were super duper gay? I the man. His name was Stan. And something's happening in my pants. Can I tell you something in confidence? Your secret's safe with me, Jerry. I won't tell Dave or Claire or Mary. Well, I've always liked women, but lately, I think I'm falling in love with... Hello? Mitchell? Tip Tip, is that you in there? Todd? Why are you peeing sitting down? I mean, I do, Um, but... no, just, uh, touching myself. Cool. You have a tampon wrapper stuck to your yes, shoe. Yes, I do. It's uh probably from when I was in the ladies' room making out with a hot chick. She wanted to make out in there, so we totally did. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Mitchell, I need to ask you a question, best pal to best pal. Shoot. Are you trying to usurp me? Um, what gave you that idea? Before you got here, people freely acknowledged that I was the best programmer at Game of Vision. Probably in the whole world. <laughs> The others look to me for guidance. I was their Obi-Wan. Is that so? Now that you're around, it's as if all of a sudden I've be, I become nothing but a C-3PO. They really think I'm the best programmer? That's amazing. But hey, C-3PO is important too. Everybody needs comic relief, right? Threaten my rifle, please, will you? I'm afraid that's a crime punishment by the death of a friendship. Revenge shall be mine, Mitchell. Oh, yes, revenge. Shall be mine. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Dave had some good ideas. 
but Mary's ideas were much, much, much better. So we're pushing ahead with Space Marines. I think this is the killer app that Game of Vision's been waiting for. Woo! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah! Go Mitch! Mitch, my boy! Oh, my. When the man upstairs was handing out smarts, you must have got two brains that was stuck together. You know, kind of like peanut M&Ms get sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Larity. No, son, thank you. You're the best damn programmer at this whole company. But Mitchell had a tampon on his shoe last night, and I I think he pees sitting down. What's that crap coming at you, talking hole, chief? Todd, no one likes a liar, right, Mitch? But, okay. Why are you defending him? I'm just happy for Mitch, that's all. But Larity took my game away. Mary's game. Look, Mitch is a great guy. Why don't you stop worrying about him and concentrate on your own weak programming? Jeez. Well, I'll concentrate. I'll concentrate on revenge. Betrayed again, Tiffany. Let's never talk to another living soul again. We gotta talk. I'm sorry. I just made a solemn pact that prevents me from talking to the likes of you. Don't make me smack you, dude. I think we have something in common. You're my evil twin. I had my suspicions, but... Shut up. This Mitch guy, something's not adding up. Agreed. What kind of guy makes his best pal into C-3PO? Mitch is casting some weird spell over this whole place with his stories about prison and Mary's stupid dying wish. So we gotta do something. Yes, we must. You and I are like the cobra and the mongoose. Bitter adversaries joining forces. Cut the ricky ticky tabby crap and let's get going. But we're agreed. We shall form an unholy union. <sighs> Fine. It is time for the unholy union handshake. We're gonna need a step ladder and some ketchup. How about we just get some dirt on Mitch and use it to destroy him. Very well. But after we succeed, the handshake. Hey, Benny, how's it hanging? It don't hang at all, Dave. It's like a button. Right, sorry. Anyway, I need some information about Mitch. I don't know about Mitch. You gotta go. Come on, Benny. The guy is smart and uh, handsome and as Korean as you. You gotta know something. I'm not bread. You can't butter me up, boy. But I need some dirt on Mitch. All you need to know is that Mitch is a great programmer. She the best. With she? No, she. I mean he. He, she, very difficult words for Korean boy. Me no speak English. Chinese shoes. Apple pie. Listen, Chinatown, I'll give you 40 bucks and a pack of cigs. No filter. Make it 100. Forgive me, Mitch. We need to talk. Oh, hey, Dave. Ladies treating you all right? I bet they are. I don't know. You tell me, Mary. You mean Mitch. Oh, do I? Or do I not? Or do I don't not? Not. Are you high? No. Well, yes. But I'm not the one on trial here. What matters is that you're Mary. Benny gave me these pictures. Son of a m bitch. I knew he'd rat me out. Don't be too hard on Benny. He's a good dude. You're not going to tell anybody about this, are you, Dave? Larity is finally listening to my ideas. I've got a nice office. Claire's really into me, which is gross, but still flattering. Sorry, Mary. I've already made an unholy union with Todd. And I'm not one to break my... I'll give you $22 and a new chapstick. Deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I called this press conference today to make a big announcement. Mitch here is an inspiration to us all. And most importantly, he's a man's man. So I've decided to name him head programmer and successor to me. God forbid anything happens. Dave and I would also like to make an announcement about Mitchell. Dave, please join me. Now I'm good. But the unholy union. Todd! Your butt best find its seat, quick! But Mitch is a woman! Come Stop on, talking, Todd! She has boobies! Zine, if you please! What the <laughs> hell? We had a deal. Yeah, but I told Todd your secret like an hour ago. Oh, I'm sorry, did I not make that clear? Go f yourself. Now the moment y'all been waiting for. Mitch, come on up here and present our next hit game. Space Marine! Thank you, Mr. Larity. Thank you, Game of Vision. Space rules, and you rule! I love you, Mitch! Back off, Claire! He's mine, you hooker! Damn it, world! I'm gay for Mitch! <gasps> and I don't care who knows!
mouth shut and we'll give you a raise. And I want my name on the Space Marines box. Space Marines is dead, honey. I'd rather miss out on the hottest game of all time than put out a game with a lady's name on it. Now that would be embarrassing. Everybody get out of here. Show's over. Yeah. I wish she had showed her boobs. I love boobs. Right? Everyone? Queer. Dude, when you kissed Mitch, you must have made some impression, man. What are you talking about? Mary, she wants to meet you in the broom closet so you can make out with her. Really? Yeah, go see for yourself. What's going on in there? I think I'm in love. Wait, I thought you were... I knew it, Jerry. Damn it, Dave. Congratulations, dude. You're still gay. You know what I like about you? You got sack.